What is up guys, Coach Joe here at the Lion's Den located in Colmar, PA. And on this video, we're gonna be talking about skinny fat. Really where this whole thing came from is I put up questions on my Instagram and I answer them. But the problem with doing that on Instagram is it's always a really short version of an answer, right? And I try to give as much context as I can as in little time as possible. But the cool thing about this video is I can dive deeper and I think this video will really help a lot of you. Uh, the first thing I wanna say is at one point in my life, I was skinny fat, so I've been in this uh, position. And the other thing is I deal with this question all the time from people on what they should do when they are skinny fat. The question that I got on Instagram was, uh, I'm skinny fat, five foot eight male, 160 pounds, 90% body fat, do I bulk or do I cut? Great question, we're gonna answer it. The first thing I wanted to find is basically what is skinny fat? And it, it's weird because we all kind of know what skinny fat is. Uh, and it's basically like you're in between kind of two body types, right? Where uh, you have fat stores or fat in areas, uh, but you're not necessarily a fat person or obese, uh, but you're also not jacked. I remember when this first happened to me is I was overweight when I was younger, and then I started doing a lot of cardio and a lot of body weight movements, uh, and I just wasn't eating as much, so I lost a good chunk of weight, um, and, and I thought that was gonna get like shredded, right? That was the image I had in my, my mind. I was gonna look like an Avenger, like a superhero. Uh, but when I looked in the mirror, obviously there was a huge change in my physique, but it was in between. Was like my muscles weren't bulging or popping. You know, I wasn't fat. I kind of had some stomach definition, but still had a belly. Just like the dad bod, for example, right? He's good looking, like he's not fat, but he's not super jacked. Like he just, yeah, he, he just is. <laughs> he just is, yeah. So that's where I was at. Back to the main point, when you're in that position or you have that body type, what do I recommend you do? Do I recommend you bulk or do I recommend you cut? So the first thing right off the bat is I feel like we need to establish some sort of consistent eating and nutrition uh, and also a training program. And what I mean by nutrition is the first thing right off the bat is increasing your protein intake. And a really basic rule of thumb is having some sort of protein source the size of your hand with every meal. But just having a, a gram of protein for however much you weigh, okay? So if I weigh 160 pounds, I wanna try to get in 160 grams of protein. And that's an issue I see across the board with a lot of people I work with is that they're not getting adequate amounts of protein and they're also not consistently eating uh, throughout the week. Like maybe one, one day out of the week, right, they're at uh, maintenance calorie. Then the next day in the week, they're at a deficit. And then the day after that, they're eating a ton, right? It's so the weekend, they start binge eating and going out and kind of just like lose control. What I would try to say is try to develop some sort of consistency uh, with your meals and increase that protein. So with that increased protein, you're going to build muscle, okay? Protein is the foundation for just building muscle in general. You know, maybe throw in more fruits and vegetables, maybe cut out the processed food. You know, slowly try to chip away just developing uh, better nutrition. The other thing is a training program. A lot of people who are skinny fat aren't consistently training or maybe you haven't started training yet. And I am a huge advocate of strength training for all of its benefits, uh, especially when it comes to body composition and building muscle. So if we have a, a nice sound structured program that we're running, and then we have our nutrition kind of at like a maintenance level of some sort, or just consistency with nutrition and that higher protein intake, if you're, if you're doing that, and I wanna say for like, you know, six to 12 months is a good time frame of just just doing that consistently, I guarantee you, you're gonna have some sort of body comp change, right? So that's like my first step, is the nutrition and the training needs to be sound with the high uh, protein and doing some sort of resistance training, okay? My mistake was I was doing a ton of cardio and I wasn't building muscle. So if you're exercising, but you're not using the proper modalities to build muscle, uh, you probably are gonna end up in that category of like a skinny fat type of body type. So Make sure that we're, we're doing resistance training uh, and we're, we're fueling our body accordingly. And what I mean by body recomp is during that time, you're probably gonna lose some of that fat and you're probably gonna gain muscle. A lot of people are like, you know, 
Can you body recomp? I've heard that it's really difficult to do. Well, the best case scenario for a body recomp is people who are just starting to train or people who are overweight and are novice lifters. Uh, because when they throw that new stimulus in with better eating habits and a training plan, we tend to drop body fat, we tend to build muscle. And I guarantee you over that six months to a year, when you look in the mirror, you're gonna now have more muscle. You're probably gonna have less fat. And that's gonna put you in a better position to then make uh, the call whether you want to bulk or then you want to cut and when you get to that position It's totally up to you You know if you're happy with how your physique looks and you've put on more muscle and then you want to diet down or, or go in a deficit and Kind of reveal that muscle that you've built then do the deficit, you know a slow deficit Just drop your calories by 500 calories maybe increase your your daily step count very simple stuff here do that for a couple months and then you can be like okay well this is where i'm at if you like it stay there okay figure out where your maintenance level is and just keep that physique now if you find that and you're like you know what i like where i'm at but i want to increase muscle now you have a better base to put on that muscle so from there i would probably do a massing phase and the massing phase is the opposite of the deficit we just increase those calories by you know 500 calories we see how that works over the course of a couple weeks if the scale is going up uh, and our nutrition is more in track right we're eating a high protein diet we've increased those carbohydrates around training we're having moderate fats then you're going to see that you are putting on good quality muscle but you're not so worried about being fat right we're in the beginning if you just started and you put on a lot of size you're probably not going to be as happy with your physique because you're like, well, yeah, I got bigger, uh, but now I just look more fat. Uh, and it's instead of the skinny, it's just fat. The other thing on top of that is once you kind of get consistent with training and nutrition and you do that recomp, it builds your confidence. I mean, that's one thing that I don't think is talked about enough is, is you just feel better, you're more motivated, and you're gonna be more into the training and the nutrition uh, because you kind of got hooked now, you built that habit. Uh, so that's what that's kind of the, the route I would take. So just a quick recap, guys. If you made it this far in the video, you know I really recommend you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, really appreciate it, it means a lot. Uh, but if you were my client working with me, first thing we would do is just get a baseline in nutrition. We'd increase that protein to around one gram per body pound. So if you're 160 or 150 pounds, you're eating three meals a day, I would try to get in 50 grams of protein per meal or do three meals with a little bit less protein than have a shake as like a snack you know anytime during the day to hit that kind of general target of protein uh, from there we want to develop our training regimen and i definitely recommend strength training or resistance training not just cardio and body weight stuff because we do want to push our capability of building muscle along with that increased protein intake we're going to really spark that recomp once we've hit that level after a good six to 12 months of training, we reevaluate. Once we reevaluate, we say, okay, I probably want to cut, pull out that muscle a little bit more, go into a slight deficit, or, you know, I want to mass now, okay? I'm comfortable with where my body's at. I looked more like of a jacked body type than I did before. So I'm okay with adding, you know, five to 10 pounds. It's not all gonna be muscle, but it's gonna be a much better base to start from uh, where you feel more confident about it than you did in the past. That's my take, all right? If you are skinny fat, hopefully this video helped you. I've been there before. I'm a big advocate of strength training, proper nutrition, and just you becoming the best version of yourself and being as healthy as you possibly can uh, and, and having that physique that you do want, okay? It's okay to want those things, and I'm an advocate for getting those things in life. So that's my take on it. All right, stay a lean, mean strength machine. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch up with you guys next time. Peace.